Okay, so how'd you find this cat? Well, I was out here walking with my girlfriend as soon as I got out the car and took a couple of steps, I heard a cat. And I looked around and I didn't see any cats. And so I looked up and I was like, oh my God, there's a cat up the tree. So I did one mile and I just kept thinking about the cat and I said, it's a kitten, she seems afraid. I can't just leave her up there. So I stopped my walking and tried to get the cat to come down. My girlfriend and I, we tried for about a half hour and we couldn't get the cat down at all. So I Googled how to get a cat out of a tree and it said to get a carrier, get um, a laser beam and get some treats or food. So I ran home because I don't live that far from here and I got all of those things. When I was coming back, I saw a police officer and I asked her if she can help me and the police officer was nice enough to come and help me. Something it just sounds really strange, a cat stuck in a tree. You don't hear that anymore. Do you, you don't. You hear about that on movies or on sitcoms or something, you yeah, know. Look at the beaver. Exactly. You know, Mayberry RFD or something like that. So I was really surprised, but I'm glad that it turned out right. I have a cat at home. She's not going to be happy, but oh well. <laughs> And uh, so the two officers kind of helped out? And they really did. I was very happy that they were willing to help me. So that's it. So what are we going to name the cat? Well, I'm going to name her Missy if it's a girl and Jam if it's a boy. Okay. Well, that sounds marvelous. Um, shout out to the DPD, eh? Oh, absolutely. They're here to protect and to serve, just as they say. And they even climb trees. Yes, they do. <laughs>